from San Cochio, Colorado, Bess Quinlan. I pronounce it right? <laughs> Pretty good for a gringo. <laughs> This is a Henry Herbert Nibs poem. And I think Mr. Nibs wrote this poem for anybody that's ever been owned by a horse. <laughs> it's called Where the Ponies Come to Drink. Up in northern Arizona, there's a ranger trail that passes through a mesa, like a fairy lake with pines upon its brink. And across that trail, a stream runs, all but hidden in the grasses till it finds an emerald hollow where the ponies come to drink. Out they fling across the mesa, wind-blown manes and forelocks dancing, blacks, sorrels, bays and pintos, wild as eagles, eyes agleam. From their hooves the silver flashes, burning beads and arrows glancing through the bunch grass and the grandma as they cross the little stream. Down they swing as if pretending in their orderly disorder that they have to stop to hold a powwow just to rally for the charge that will take them close to sunset 20 miles across the border. Then the leader sniffs and drinks with four feet planted on the marge. One by one each head is lowered till some nearly nips another and the playful interruption starts an eddy in the band. Round they circle, snorting, squealing, plunging, wheeling, nor pause until they find the firmer land. My old cow horse, he runs with him. I turned him loose for good last season. Eighteen years hard work, his record. And he's taken it by playing, acting proud and with good reason. Though starts a little forward, he can fan it with the best. Once I called him, almost caught him when he heard my spur chain jingle. Then he eyed me some reproachful as if making up his mind, seemed to say, well, if I have to, but you know I'm living single. So I laughed. In just a minute, he was pretty hard to find. Some folks wouldn't understand it, writing lines about a pony, for a cow horse is a cow horse, nothing else, most people think. But for 18 years, your partner, wise and faithful, such a crony seems worth watching for a spell down where the ponies come to drink. Thank you, Mr. Nibs.